Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. It's time to continue on and do the main quest by going to the pit stop up there and tracking down Lily's voice. But before that, I just noticed... We've got a statue over here. We've got a locker key. The pit stop. Just checking. I'm not sure if I ever try to use an axe against one of these reinforced crates. Don't see any monsters. What was that? Just checking for car loot. Lily's cotton candy handprints. I can Lily? smell her breath from here. Are you here? It's Dad. Where did she go? Lily. It's okay. It's me. Lily's doll. She's been here. trouble. Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out. I can't jump over the counter. There's definitely monsters outside. Oh, right. I've seen this point too. So the point I watched somebody play through this game was kind of like the the woman's voice ghost quest in that house back there, and then this whole encounter right here, and then after this I don't think I've seen anything more. But yes, I know there are monsters here. Aside from just the noise making it kind of obvious. And they're fast.
All right, Lily. Where did you run off to? Another signal. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. So I'm pretty sure monsters come from over that way. Yep. And they're fast. They spot you? Oh my god, they're fast. Fucking terrifying things. I don't know if I even want to try to get a stealth kill on them. Christ. I'm scared. The person I watched just shotgunned them. I guess I'll try to go for stealth kills. I mean, for all I know, they have a freaking face on the back of them and they can see behind themselves. That wouldn't surprise me. Don't think they're in range. I can't even see them anymore. I see that one over on the right, but where'd this one go? Oh, there it is. It's right over there, just to the right of the car. I can barely see it. They don't seem to be moving, which is good for me. I'm going to try to go in for the kill. Yeah, it looks like you can't stealth kill him. Maybe I'll zap the other one. Why do I keep entering this menu? I have it on the quick bar. Oh, this isn't a zap, this is just a, a bolt. That's fine, I'll try it. Look at my gun steaming. Neat. <sighs> Gotta keep in mind now that I've kind of done a main story thing, there could very well be new enemies that pop up over here. So I shouldn't be too reckless. I say as I sprint to my destination. Oh, this is the place? Let's try this again.
Ah, oh, Lily, you dropped some cotton candy. Well, before I follow that, I want to know what's in here. She stopped here to hide. She uh -huh. must be in that warehouse. Smart girl. That's why I couldn't continue Lots in of there. Good places to hide in there, I bet. It's locked by the main quest. So now Sebastian can investigate. She probably crawled through here. Gotta get through. I hate you, Sebastian. She's a brave and resourceful little girl. She's gonna be okay. I just gotta find her. It's not coming. Uh, wait, where did the thing go? The thing that just fell is right here. Huh. Where is it hiding? Where the hell is it hiding?
Oh, I can't search them. Hmm, they give me a crafting bench. I wonder if that means there's a boss fight or something coming up. Core displacement, infrastructure report, 1501, seismic trigger event this afternoon, system check revealed disengagement of core, sent recovery team for preliminary scout, report file to Mobius HQ shortly before outside contact lost. Seismic trigger event this afternoon, I wonder if that was what I heard that sounded like a far away explosion. Seismic event. 1632, core tracking unsuccessful, minor temporal displacement, but no major structural damage. Citizenry beginning to make call center inquiries. 1803, core still offline, minor fissures forming in city hall area. Citizenry remaining calm, but unease is growing. Losing atmospheric control. Temperature drops in double digits. 2300, another seismic trigger. City hall fissure becoming critical. Separation imminent if core isn't restored. Mobius Alpha Team has arrived to aid in core search. Yeah, this definitely seems like they're prepping me for a boss fight. Alright. Oh yeah, I haven't upgraded the sniper at all. Let's see what we got here. More damage. I mean, for a sniper, I can't imagine clip capacity matters at all, right? If you're doing it from a distance, then why would you need tons of ammo? Like, at one time. Yeah, reload time and ammo capacity seem irrelevant. Seems like firepower would be by far the most important thing. I've got two high-grade weapon parts. Well, no point in using it at the moment, because I don't have enough weapon parts to upgrade anything. Let's see how we're doing on ammo. Good on handgun, but really need shotgun. I'm running low on gunpowder. I also have no smoke. Let's make two smokes. I'm full on med stuff. Yeah, I'm really low on gunpowder. Okay. What should I load in this thing? Maybe a shock round. Or an explosive? Do an explosive. Another doll. But where's Lily? <laughs> How many dolls did Lily have? <laughs> what the hell? Obviously, the serial killer person. The same one snapping photos. has my little girl. I was so close. Damn it! Calm down. Think. I gotta save her. No more signals coming into this communicator. I need to find another way. O'Neill. Not sure I can trust him, but he wants out of here as bad as I want to find Lily. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Can you hear me? Not now. 
Maybe it'll work better outside. Yeah, I got a feeling there's a boss fight right before I get to leave this place. I have not seen this far, by the way. Like I said, the gas station thing, or the pit stop thing, was all I've seen. Oh, there's ammo right here. Nah, it's just two shotgun shells that I can't pick up. It's not that big of a deal. got for me game let's do this thing as far as I can tell there's no way to go up or down a ladder any faster than this Randall Fig. There you are. But where is Lily? Can't let him get away again. This is a cutscene now. Hey! You! The girl! Where is she? Maybe a little bit close. O'Neill this time. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. You're still alive? I mean, you're still alive. Good. Were you able to locate the core? No, but I know who has her, and he's got powers like nothing else in here. But I lost him. I think I can help you out with that. I picked up a frequency I've never seen before. It's coming from City Hall. Great. Where's that? Look up. Do you see a building with a big clock tower? Yeah. That's it. How in the hell am I supposed to get up there? It's a bit complex. Come back here, I can explain. Right. I'm on my way. Okay. The city has arisen again. Oh, Christ.
Is there a way to sneak kill those things that crawl on the ground? They do seem to have faces in the back. I mean, can I get to them from the side? I don't know. It just takes so much ammunition to kill them. Should I go straight back for the safe house, or should I go to this one? I don't know, I, you know, have they risen just around the safe house, or have they risen everywhere? That's the big question. It looks clear over there. I mean, it looks clear over there, too, but we saw from the cutscene, I'm pretty sure that's where they were spawning. But let me check over here. You're new. You're new, too. drop anything? Ooh. Statue. creepy noises. Uh oh, I think it heard. Nope. I just had a revelation. The, uh, the brawler ability that makes you do more damage? I need to look at it again and see if it makes you do more damage. Well, actually, I don't think it specifies, but I'm wondering if that makes you do more damage when you're doing a sneak kill. You know how enemies like this one over here takes two sneak kills to kill? Maybe if I upgrade Brawler, I'll be able to sneak kill them in less. I feel like it shouldn't have any effect on it, because Brawler suggests it's, you know, when you're brawling, not when you're sneak killing. But maybe it does? Go around the back. I feel like they're probably coming back this way. That's why I don't want to go forwards.
Oh, whew. Did it just in time. Ah. Oh. Well, that one's gonna wake up. <laughs> just hit her in the butt with the, with the glass. No, that was stealth. This is stealth, Sebastian. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's definitely not the safe way to go. There's definitely big enemies over this way, too. But now I'm committed to going to the safe house. I could snipe it, huh? I could. Did I kill it? Oh my god. That is absolutely worth it. One shot. Now I'm paranoid that these bodies are going to get up. Oh, I can open fire hydrants to make an electricity hazard. Good to know. Gotcha. Yeah, one sniper shot to kill one of those things. That's a great use of ammo. I really think they missed an opportunity with the whole healing mechanic. You know, you can craft syringes and medical kits and collect herbs to craft them with. But they really should have just gone all in with this coffee mechanic. Why not make it so that you can craft thermoses and they're like flasks from Dark Souls. And then you can craft a like bigger and better coffee maker. One that makes more coffee and allows you to refill more of your thermoses. Probably should spend my gel, huh? Alright, let's use our locker keys. I think we have... We definitely have one, do we have... Yeah, we have two. Let's also grab this. Oh. Five thousand. That's fantastic. Alright, we got a bunch of abilities to get. Okay, so I briefly searched online and I didn't find any definitive answer to whether this brawler ability will increase the damage you do in a sneak attack, but since a sneak attack does involve a knife, and it says melee attacks, including attacks with weapons like knives and axes, do more damage, just based on the description alone, it looks like it will increase the damage. It should. So going with that assumption, this is pretty damn important. I'm going to go with it. And if that does what I think it does, and two stealth attacks will kill one of those kind of creepy, ghostly women with the, the knives. If it takes two to kill them normally, and this ability does what I think it does, then if I get Brawler 2, which increases damage to 200%, they should go down in one sneak attack. So that will kind of confirm it. I'm going to go for it. So that will definitively confirm it. And if they don't go down on one attack, then I'm going to be very sad. Alright, that's all I'm putting into combat. More stamina would definitely be good. Gives a chance to automatically avoid an attack that would have damaged you, so you get a 20% chance. 
you have a 20% chance of having a chance to avoid it. So probably some sort of a quick time key to press or something. It's not bad. And that increases it to 30%. It's not amazing though, but it's not bad. Uh, maybe that's all I want to put into athleticism. Still don't want to put anything into recovery. What about health? Can't afford that. This will give you... Yeah, so that will allow you to survive past a death blow. If it only would have just done a little bit over lethal damage. This I don't really care about. What do we have in stealth? Oh yeah, this one looks pretty big. Bottles in your inventory will automatically be used to break free from some enemies' grab attacks. That could be extremely helpful. I'm gonna go with that. Bottles will be expended to break free from certain enemies' grab attacks. Bottles will be used directly from the inventory. They do not need to be equipped. Okay, good. Alright, let's head to O'Neill's safe house. she off to? Oh my god. Okay, this is perfect. Now we get to test out that ability. Let's see if Brawler works the way I think it does. God, I hope it does. Please go down in one hit. Please go down in one hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Ah, oh, dang it. It has no effect on this. It lied to me. It said it did more damage with knives. Well, that's kind of a waste. Well, I guess the good thing is the axe does more damage. So, I don't know, maybe the axe could take out something really, really big now? I'm assuming it couldn't take out something big, I've never tried it. There's one of them in here. Oh, Christ. see me. Oh god. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> it worked out though.
Uh, I think I... I don't see, but I hear, I think, one of those fast, low-to-the-ground things. Where the hell? Is it on the roof? Oh Christ, it is. Dare I try to sneak kill it? You know what? I can't seem to sneak up behind it, but I bet I could do an ambush from cover, right? Seriously? God, I hope this works. It looks like you just cannot sneak kill them. That's what it seems seems to be the case. You know, I should probably get the lay of the land, huh? Good vantage point. I hear something. Oh, there's one normal monster over there. I don't see much, though. I really can't believe you can't just, like, slide down a ladder. Shift, space, crouch, nothing seems to do anything, just Sebastian always takes his time. Alright, O'Neill, tell me what you know. Oh, hey, new supplies, thanks. Lana supplies. How are we looking on weapon parts? Eh, 70. I'm gonna save up some more, but I definitely need shotgun rounds. You made it here okay. Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are there tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. You take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. Where's this Merrill that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. 
Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. <laughs> Anything else you need to know before you go? Wearing this is the only way to get through the gas-filled areas of the Marrow. O'Neill was nice enough to find a brand new one for you, so you're not wearing a dead man's mask. Thanks, O'Neill. No, there's nothing else I want to know. Alright, well, I'm gonna head over to the north safe house. And I'll bring you back if something new happens along the way, otherwise I'll meet you at the computer. Actually, I changed my mind. Before going there, I want to take out these enemies, even though I know I don't need to, but I want the green goo. Delicious goo. And we do have a big enemy this way. Yeah, I think I'm just going to snipe it. It's just so in there with all the other ones. I guess I got lucky before. Did I miss? Alright. Looks like we got four of them. Oh, Chris. No, 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 no. That's not quite where I wanted to throw it. I think that was too far away. <laughs> well, I'm doing a great job with this. Oh, 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 oh. Fire one. It's hard to find the right time to pounce without others seeing. Maybe now. See if I can get it to spot me. Yep. Something good over here.
All right, just one left. Something I'm curious about is I wonder if I can make them drop the fire thing by just throwing a bottle at them. What if I just hit them with a bottle? <laughs> Gotta be more careful with these things. No, Sebastian, that was exactly on purpose. Oh my god, I startled them into dropping it. The bottle is truly a formidable weapon. I think there's a bottle over here I can grab. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, that should be it. So now I'll meet you north. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me, and it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for our briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. All right, Kidman, search the databases. Male, slightly tall, black hair, artist. Let's go in. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. I really need to start using my pistol more. I keep finding ammunition for it that I can't pick up. Looking for B2. Is that a self-defense mechanism? Alright. Does this place have a map? No, it does. Yeah, O'Neill said this place was maze-like, so I'm expecting it to be quite large.
Could this be the whole map of Union? It used to be so huge. Email Union Growth to all concerned from Operative Rafe. With the success of the Muse Center recruitment plan, Union's growth is exceeding projections. Stem pod manufacture has been increased. Union expansion has been drafted and is scheduled for rendering. Due to population growth, the Union environment map will have to be enlarged by 50%. In addition to new residential areas, a farming zone and industrial zone will be added to accommodate job assignments for new citizens. Looks like they were still designing parts of Union in here. Well, I could open that if I wanted to. Yes, shotgun rounds. Don't really see a point in opening it, though. Seems like things didn't go so well down here either. You're looking the wrong way, Sebastian. Okay, that didn't quite work right. I couldn't take cover around that thing. I should keep in mind to keep one bottle on me so I can do the escape from the uh, grab attack thing. I'm going to be a little more open with using my pistol rounds. Although I'm still going to run back and grab the extra ones. Oh, 
No B2 exits that way. Well, hold on. First, what's up here? Too bad I can't stomp them. Ah, oh, wooden crossbow ammo pouch. Investigate? Exit B2. Oh. Looks like there's a route. As long as it still exists. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator. Might as well give it a try. about how all the monsters are coming in here now. Sebastian, what are you doing? Please get up the fucking ladder. Thank you. Okay. Holy shit! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. This is gonna hurt. I this calls for explosives. This calls for this. Oh Christ. Yeah, use that bottle. Fuck him up. Come on. Sebastian. Sebastian, are you really just not gonna get down that ladder? Alright. Sebastian doesn't like ladders. Oh, Christ, this is before entering this place at all. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. I've got a plan this time. Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each annex. Don't mess up Stand this time, by. Sebastian. Come on, get up the ladder. Recreation area. Come on! What the hell? Please wait while system reboots. Research wing emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Also realize you can press R while holding the weapon to change the uh, thingy. Okay. Bottle? Yes. Get the fuck off of me. Security annex emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. All right. Yeah, explosives that work wonderfully for groups of enemies. Can 
try not. Nope. Shit. Oh, fuck! No! <gasps> oh, you really... God's back here. Yeah, you really can't do any sneak kills at all during this, like, mob wave thing. That's really lame. I don't know why they would just straight up disable that. Okay, I'm not gonna play around with you. Oh, come on! Fuck! Are you serious? This is ridiculous! Okay. Fuck! Fuck it! Are you kidding me? I hate this! What is with this enemy? Why is it so strong? That should not be triggered by me. Here we go. I'm gonna use everything on it since it seems to be damn near invincible. Didn't mean to shoot there. I'm gonna uninstall this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Note to self. Shocky thing makes normal enemies fall down so you can stomp them. It does not make stronger enemies fall down. Okay, here we go. Run, 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 run. Are you finally dead? Thank God. Oh my God. I hope that's it. System food. Need to be surveilled. Lockdown. Everything about that encounter was very cool, except for that one enemy and the fact that you can't sneak kill anything. Arbitrarily. All the goo is so satisfying. Yeah, we're looking pretty bad on ammo, huh? 12 shots of the pistol, 3 shots of the shotgun. Very little left of the warden crossbow. So that opens that, obviously, but it also opened all... these other things? Or not? Did they close back up, or can I go in? Oh no, I can go in now. Cool. Well, let's check out these places then. I mean, I'm presuming there's no enemies in here, given everything just came at me, right? This is probably where I get to restock.
Oh, I still got an axe. Maybe I should try to use that against her. Wonder how good it'd be. So go and grab the handgun rounds back here. Alright, let's go. Jesus, the smell. Well, it looks like the game just saved. On that note, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to continue into the sewers and hopefully through the marrow.